Welcome to Tech Space, and in this video, we're going over a uh, Rival 100 mouse installation. So, if you've just recently got the Rival 100 mouse by Overwatch and you want to install it, or any actual uh, mouse by Overwatch and you want to install it, what you're going to want to do is go to Steel Series official site, just go by, by typing in steelseries.com. And I'll put the link to this in the description below just to make it a little bit easier. And once you're in SteelSeries, go up here to software. Don't worry about anything else. In software, you're going to see SteelSeries Engine 3. And if you have Windows, you're going to want to click this one. If you have a Mac, you're going to want to click this one. Go ahead, download the installation package for Windows or Mac. And once that's done, just go through the setup as any other setup. And once that's finished, you'll get the SteelSeries window. So once you get the SteelSeries window, you'll get something like this. Now I have the Apex 100 keyboard and the Rival 100 mouse, so I have those both set up already. So if you have your mouse plugged in, once SteelSeries sets up and you load this up, it'll automatically detect your mouse. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on the mouse. I'll go and make another video on the keyboard because the keyboard has a little bit more to go over. Now, on the Rival 100, there are what? So there's six different buttons. And basically, there are two buttons on the side, on the left side of the mouse, as you can see B5 and B4 here. And you can button, you can actually um, go ahead and you launch the macro editor and remap those buttons if you want to but I don't want to remap mine I can just do that when I'm in my game um, when you're in the game of course you can go to the keyboard options and set those by yourself so remapping them for Windows really wouldn't really make much sense now in addition to this if you go over here to sensitivity we have two CPI sensors that can be accessed through B6 which is the center button in the mouse so you can adjust these, and I can have one set at 2,000, 4,000, well, I guess 4,000, 2,000. Um, the max for the Rival 100 is a 4,000. So I can set one to 4,000, one to 1,000, and switch back and forth. And as you can see, if I click save, and I'm on 1,000 right now, I click the center button, and I'm on 4,000. Now this is obviously, really hard to control so you not many people want to use 4000 I just keep mine at 1000 and since I accidentally press this button a lot I just uh, keep them both at 1000 so if I accidentally press it it doesn't change it and just a quick tip put your pulling rate for the mouse all the way up um, your angle snapping all the way down acceleration all the way down and deacceleration all the way down that's important just because in game you don't want uh, mouse to you know single snap or do anything that you're not doing you want it to follow the exact movement of your pointer and that's the point for most games at least um that are shooters yeah pretty much every single game you're gonna want to have that off so click save when you're done and you're pretty much done with the mouse no you can also do something cool with this um if you close out this section right here you can go over to game sense and turn this on now i don't have it on but you can turn it on and it works for csgo dota 2 and what is this minecraft so for these games you can have um different things that happen so my health for example i can have a single color i can say my health is low i want my color or the color of the mouse to turn red so this will flash at 10%, I can have that on, or I can just turn this off and it'll just turn red when my health is at 10%, or I can check, or I can check this and change this to you know, 50% or 30% health, which is what I you know, figure is low health and counter strike at least. Um, and you can also do this with dual colors and color ranges and it gets you know very intricate. Uh, you can also go up here and do ammo, round kills, headshots, flashbang, blindness, money, match kills, armor, helmet, 
Um, and you can also just turn this off. If you don't play any of these games, of course, you're just going to want to have it off because there's no point of having the game since on because it doesn't detect those games. Um, for different mouses, it might be different, but for this mouse, that's how it works. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, game Sense is a really cool feature. Um, I don't have it on again just because... I don't know, actually. I just, I just prefer having it off. Uh, I don't pay attention to my mouse that much when I'm gaming, so um, it's really not of uh, use to me. So, again, you can do this for Dota. You can go ahead and change all of the things for Dota or Minecraft. Um, and the mouse color will change. So that's basically how you set up a Rival 100 series mouse. And if you are using a different mouse, uh, a different Rival mouse made by Overwatch, then these settings should basically apply. I know that the Rival 100 isn't one of like the high-end mouses, so the high-end mouses will probably just have a little bit more uh, features, but the outlay of SteelSeries Engine 3 should, for the most part, be the same. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, post it in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.